What is going on my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Friday, September 18th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. If you happen to be new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family, and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Most of you know we have giveaways at our channel, and our current one is for an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4 Pro. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here, or you can follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine, and we will be announcing the winner on November 5th of this year. As always, keep in mind that watching our content is not a requirement to win at our channel. We only want you watching things you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering the contest via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So recently, we've been getting some messages asking us what do we think are some of the best missions to run in regards to farming in the game right now. Now in the past, our channel has done some videos on farming control points and going over bounties, things like that, but we've never done one specifically for missions, so today we're going to show you a few of our favorites. There are a few things I want to point out as we begin. First of all, this video is really geared towards beginners, new players, or players that are just now returning back to the game. We will be covering a lot in this video. We're going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks. First off, we're going to show you gameplay from heroic footage on one of our favorite missions, which is Lincoln Memorial. Then we're going to cut directly to the same mission on Challenging. And that's really just to show you a comparison of the, you know, the quality of loot that we get between the two difficulties. After that, we'll show you on the map a few other missions that we like to farm, and then we'll wrap the whole thing up at the end of the video with showing you how to farm specifically for exotics. One final thing I want to point out, as you can see in the screen, I'm just doing random matchmaking. Typically, that is how I find a group in this game, and so far it's worked out pretty good. So there are two main reasons why Lincoln Memorial, in my opinion, is one of the best missions to run. First of all is that you face four named enemies throughout the mission. Secondly, this is a mission you can get through pretty quickly, even with random matchmaking. Now at this point in the video, my friends, we're just going to jump to the end boss drop itself. There's no point in really showing you the other stuff. Keep in mind, there is another named boss in the middle of the mission, but we're just going to show you the end boss stuff now. And by the way, this is all right now game footage from yesterday, so when Title Update 11 does come out, it should improve. Like, here's a really good handgun there. That can be maxed out, and I like the uh, talent as well, uh, the 20% skill damage with a headshot. And one quick tip I'd like to give you is make sure, especially if you're in a group of random people, that you wait and see if anyone happens to drop loot that they don't need. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is as soon as the mission's over, they just bail. And I mean, there have been times where someone will drop an exotic. I already have it, so I don't pick it up. But the other person may have needed it, but they're already gone, so they'll never know. Now most of the items, as you can see, that dropped are pretty on par for what Heroic should be. Let's see what this uh, player's sharing. I mean, look at that rifle. That's awesome. Yeah, so you want to make sure you stick around to the end. You can see the mission took 13 minutes and 10 seconds. That's with random matchmaking. And if you do happen to have a dedicated group that you play with, I'm sure you can get through it faster. Now we're jumping to our second run at Lincoln Memorial, now on Challenging Difficulty, and as we look at the loot, you can definitely see a change of the quality between Heroic and Challenging. However, if you're a player that's used to playing on Hard Difficulty, this loot will be an improvement for what you're used to getting, so my one recommendation if you're going to do matchmaking is this. If you are farming for better gear, which typically everyone is farming for, obviously, you want to make sure that if you're matchmaking, you're matchmaking to a difficulty that's higher than you're normally playing on your own. Next, we want to show you a few other places that we really like to farm, and that has to do with the fact that these missions have multiple named bosses within them. Now, the next two we're showing you are strongholds, so they do take a little bit longer to run, but the loot quality is typically there. Another great thing about these missions is the fact that people have run these so many times they are used to the NPC patterns, and so that obviously helps speed up the process as well. The last mission we're going to be showing you, and then we'll get into farming for exotics, this is Wall Street, and it happens to be another great one because there are four named bosses in the mission. 
And as I mentioned before, regardless of the difficulty that you're playing on, whether it's story mode or normal or hard, it doesn't matter because when you face a named enemy, there's always a chance for better loot. And on that note, my friends, we are now going to get into farming for exotics when it comes to missions. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you pick a mission where the exotic happens to be that day. So the first thing we're showing you is the Bullet King. Now, on this day, it happened to be at Wall Street, which is, in my opinion, the best day to farm for it. Now, if you've seen my previous farming videos, you already know this method. However, if you're new, the one thing I recommend is change the difficulty between attempts if you're running a mission over and over. Now, this happens to be footage from my most recent Bullet King video. You can see I'm on normal difficulty. The Bullet King did drop, and previous to this attempt, I'd run it on heroic. Now, as far as the percentage of drop rates, when it comes to exotics, we all know that the higher the difficulty equals the higher percentage of the item actually dropping. However, that does not mean it cannot drop on other difficulties, so make sure when you're trying this, you can go from challenging to hard, hard to normal, normal to heroic, whatever it is, but mixing it up really seems to help. Now, we know at this point in the game that exotics that were once exclusive to New York can drop in DC and vice versa. Here you have an example of that happening. Right now I'm at the Tombs mission in New York and you can see or you'll see in a moment that a pestilence dropped and that was an LMG that used to be exclusive just to DC. You can also see I'm on normal difficulty. I think I've run this previously on challenging, but again, whether it's from hard to, it doesn't matter the uh, you know order you do the difficulties in as long as you try to mix it up. And one more thing as we wrap up this video, keep in mind, I'm sharing these missions with you because I've had really great luck here. We've heard from other players as well that enjoy these, but again, make sure you're playing towards your game style. Therefore, if you have missions you love running, just keep hitting them up over and over, change difficulty, that seems to help with exotics, and as I mentioned earlier, if you do struggle with heroic, try to join a group and hopefully that will help. One final thing before we wrap up is make sure if you have any other tips that you'd like to share that have helped, you know, your progress in the game, definitely leave comments below. Here we're all about sharing everything we can to try to help each player out. And with that, my friends, I think we're going to wrap up this video. I want to once again thank you all so much for watching our content, subscribing to our channel. The support you've given us since we've been here has been absolutely amazing. As I mentioned earlier, if you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. And if you did enjoy this or found it helpful, please hit that like button as well. As I said before, it really does help us out. Most importantly, as always, take care, be kind, and we will definitely be chatting with you guys soon. Thanks again, everybody.